Welcome to BioBox Labs. I'm so glad you can join us today. We are going to be talking about butterflies and pollination. How many times have you guys walked through a garden and seen all the beautiful flowers there and wondered, well, how did they even get there? Well, it turns out that two things are important. Pollen is one, we find it in flowers, as well as a pollinator. So let's first look at the pollen. If we look inside this flower, deep inside, you can actually see that there's these little fuzzy structures around the outside that are called anthers. And inside those anthers are things called pollen. And pollen actually actually can bring to other flowers all the genetic information needed for a seed to grow. And when a seed grows, what happens? It turns into a new plant. So pollen is really important. But how does that pollen get from one plant to another? That's where pollinators come in handy. Pollinators can be bees, they can be birds, and they can be butterflies. So we're going to be looking at butterflies more closely today. Take a look at this image. Let's learn a little bit more about butterfly and the structures in them. You can see that they have two wings, two pair of wings actually. They have a body made up of an abdomen and a head. They have six legs, so three pair, one pair that's really short, two that are longer. On butterflies, the antenna, there as a pair, have bulbs on the end, whereas on moths, the antenna are more fuzzy. They look a lot alike though, and moths are also helpful pollinators. The last thing that's super interesting on a butterfly is this long tongue called the proboscis. It actually uncoils and can be extremely long compared to the size of their body. It's gonna be very helpful in the process of pollination. So we're gonna do a simulation, a pollination simulation, and in our case, we're gonna create a paper butterfly model, and then we're also gonna use a paper flower garden. So let's see what we need. Inside your bio box, you'll find a magnetic bar, some glitter, some, some colored thread, a pipe cleaner, measuring tape, paper butterfly, and a paper flower garden. But you'll also need your magnifying glass from past boxes and a few extra things from your house, scissors, tape, and some crayons or markers. So let's get started. What we're gonna do first is actually color in your flower garden. Now, I'm not gonna color mine in because you'll be able to see the, re the results of our experiment a little bit better if I leave it white. But at home, you're gonna wanna color it in. It makes it so much more fun. And then we're gonna color in our butterfly. So let's make it beautiful. Butterflies come in so many different colors. In the, the bio boxers box, you actually, those will get to actually grow a butterfly from a caterpillar. And they're looking specifically at painted ladies. They're orange and black. But we're gonna make ours super colorful because why not be creative? So, we're going to color it all in. Now that our butterfly is colored and cut, we're gonna get it ready to be a model. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our colored thread and tape it to the back of our butterfly. Now we're gonna put on the body. So we're gonna cut the different pieces of the body and the legs using our measuring tape and get it ready for that. So let's measure out. Okay, so we'll start by wrapping the body around to become the body and the antenna. And you can see that there's a little extra on top. So we can actually twist it up here and this can become the two antenna. Some of the fuzz comes off. So there's our little antenna on top. So on the underside, we're gonna add the legs. The short little legs, we'll slide it under here. The short little legs will go in the front. And we'll twist it together like this. Then we'll put the two pair of longer legs behind it. Twist them on. So now our butterfly is ready to go. Three pair of legs, pair of antenna, 
and the body. So let's tape our butterfly to the table and we're gonna tape it right close to our flower garden. And the pipe cleaners have magnetic metal in them and so you can actually attach the magnet and you can watch your butterfly fly. You have to hold it very carefully and it might take a little bit of practice but eventually you can see that my butterfly is flying without touching the magnet and it begins to actually wobble a bit around. So after we've learned to fly our butterfly, we're gonna help our butterfly pollinate the flowers in our flower garden. So let's start by adding glitter, which will act as our pollen, to our flower. And we're just gonna pick one. So the butterfly has come, the pollen is sitting on the anthers of the, of the flower. So we're gonna add all of our glitter on here. And then we're gonna see what happens when a pollinator that has very fuzzy legs and a fuzzy body, like a butterfly, comes near the pollen and he sticks his proboscis, his long tongue, down into the flower. He gets close and those fuzzy legs get near the pollen in the anthers. What happens? If you look at it, can you see that the pollen has collected on its fuzzy legs? So now, as this butterfly flies into the next flower, it will find out, it will land on the flower to get nectar from that flower, and then it lands in this flower, gets some more nectar from then, and then this flower gets more nectar from that flower, and then this one lands on that one, and then finally this flower here. If we look up closely, can you see if any pollen has been spread to the other flowers? It collected all the flower, the pollen in one flower, but as it landed to get nectar from each of these other flowers, it took pollen to those. And you might wanna even take your magnifying glass and look at it closely and you can see there's a ton of pollen scattered all over these flowers. And eventually it will get to the part of the flower where the seeds are formed and the pollen will pollinate the flowers and help these flowers form seeds to produce flowers for the future. So many more gardens will be able to grow because we had our pollinator helping the flowers out in that way. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you learned something about butterflies who are pollinators as well as pollen. This month's shout out goes to Matthias, Nicholas, Joshua, and Emily. Thank you for being bio boxers and we hope you're enjoying your experiments. Bye bye. If you would like to become a bio boxer and get your own experiments delivered to your door, subscribe at bioboxlabs.com. And if you'd like a shout out in one of our videos, send your names to info at bioboxlabs.com. See you next time.